today we are going to discuss about the scale basically there are two types of the scale plane scale and diagonal scale but today we are going to discuss only about the plane scale so in this video we are going to discuss two different question first is the theoretical question and second is the problems of the plane scale so before that first question we have to understand about the metric measurements and this is actually basic information and everybody knows that 10 mm is equal to 1 cm 10 cm is equal to 1 dm 10 dm is equal to 1 m 10 m is equal to 1 dm 10 dm is equal to 1 hm and 10 hm that is equal to 1 km that you have to remember to solve the problems related to the scale whether it is a plane scale or diagonal scale so you have to remember in the another form smallest unit that is a millimeter millimeter is multiplied by 10 then you will get centimeter centimeter is multiplied by 10 then you will get decimeter decimeter is multiplied by 10 then you will get meter meter is multiplied by 10 then it is decameter decameter is multiplied by 10 then you will get hectometer hectometer is multiplied by 10 then you will get kilometer so this is the arrow that is in the ascending order so you have to remember this only note so you have to fix this note in your mind so it is very easy to solve the problems related to this scale so now let's start the first question representative fraction short form of this representative fraction is rf so it is the ratio of the length of the drawing to the actual length of the object so mathematically you can say rf is equal to drawing size upon actual size so length of drawing that is also you can say drawing size actual length of object that is you can say actual size for example if a line of length 1 meter is represented on a sheet by a line of 10 mm so line of 1 meter that is your actual size and is represented on sheet that means drawing size is 10 mm so you can find that rf is equal to first drawing size and what is the drawing size so it is written over here on a drawing sheet the line of length is 10 mm so drawing size is 10 mm upon actual size so actual size is what that is also given to you line of length is 1 meter so actual size is 1 meter but here you observe both the units are different so you have to convert either meter into mm or mm into meter so i am going to convert meter into mm so 10 mm as it is and 1 meter that is equal to 1000 mm you know very well so here 1 0 is cancel and mm mm is also cancel so what is remaining 1 upon 100 so also you can write 1 is to 100 and over here it is less than 1 so you can conclude over here if your rf is less than 1 then you can say it is reduced scale like that 1 is to 100 it can be 1 is to 1000 also if your rf is greater than 1 then you can say it is enlarged scale and the example of this is like that 100 is to 1 if your rf is equal to 1 then it is called as the full scale it is like that 1 is to 1 So now let's start with the first example. Construct a plane scale with RF is equal to 1 by 5 to show decimeters and centimeters. The scale should be long enough to measure 1 meter. Show the length of 7.3 decimeter and 8.4 decimeter on it. The weightage in the examination is 3 marks. So as we have discussed that you have to remember this note. So as we know that the definition of RF is equal to drawing size upon actual size. Here RF is given to you one by five. So I can put it over here. So as it is RF is equal to one by five is equal to drawing size. So we don't know the drawing size. So I can write over here LOD that means length of drawing. Sometimes it is called as the length of scale also upon actual size. So what is the actual size that is given to you? the scale should be long enough to measure the 1 meter so the maximum length that is measured by the scale is 1 meter that means the actual size of the object is 1 meter so i can write over here 1 meter so i can find from this equation length of drawing so simply you can say it is 1 by 5 and that 1 meter is multiplied over here so it is 1 by 5 meter so simplified 1 by 5 
then you will get 0.2 meter is as it is now convert this meter into mm so you know that meter into mm that means you have to multiply it by 1 2 and 3 times 10 that means 10 raised to 3 mm so simplified over here then you will get length of drawing is equal to 0.2 into 10 raised to 3 that means you can say 200 mm and if you convert it into the centimeter then you can say it is 20 centimeter because of you know over here mm is multiplied by 10 then you will get centimeter so reverse process if you want to find the centimeter then millimeter should be divided by 10 so millimeter is divided over here by 10 then you will get 20 centimeter so this is the length of drawing so once you got that length of drawing then you can start the drawing of scale so first pick up the scale length is what length of drawing is 20 centimeter so draw the line up to 20 centimeter so 20 centimeter is over here so draw the line up to 20 centimeter with the help of the scale and I can write over here this is actually the length of drawing so you can mention LOD that is length of drawing is equal to 20 centimeter so these both line are called as the extension line and this line is called as the dimension line then you can say this is the height of the scale you can take randomly but generally it is preferred as 10 mm or 1 centimeter then complete the rectangle so this rectangle that is actually scale now next it is given to you in the data the scale should be long enough to measure 1 meter and 1 meter here you can see 1 meter that is equal to 10 decimeter so in another word we can say we want to measure the 10 decimeter and so that we have to divide this scale into 10 equal parts so divide first into 10 equal parts and start with the these numbers keep the first one so start with always second 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and draw the vertical line passing through all these points so here we want to use this scale to measure 10 decimeter so each division that represent one decimeter so I can write over here it is decimeter now divide this first division into the 10 equal parts so once again try to understand from here to here that is one division and that represent as one decimeter and it is divided into 10 equal part that means one tenth part of the decimeter that is represent as what centimeter so I can write over here centimeter and I have written it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 times so you can write instead of all the number you can write 5 and 10 also and that is now your centimeter now the scale is ready so we have completed over here the first question construct a plane scale so plane scale is ready now second question show the length of 7.3 decimeter so here this is the decimeter so the right side of the zero that indicate the decimeter and left side of the zero that indicate the centimeter so 7.3 decimeter that means 7 decimeter and 3 centimeter so 7 decimeter so pick up from this decimeter scale 7 is over here so this is the 7 decimeter and 3 centimeter so over here it is the centimeter so 1 2 3 3 centimeters so and that length that represent as 7.3 decimeter now I want to show 8.6 decimeter that means 8 decimeter and 6 centimeter so here you can see decimeter so 8 decimeter so locate over here 8 decimeter and 6 centimeter so over here this is your centimeter so 6 centimeter that means 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this is your distance 8.6 decimeter means 8 decimeter and 6 centimeter so this is your scale so I have used this yellow color to represent as a scale but it is not required to do the same in the examination so thanks my dear friends so press the like button to appreciate this video